finally 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 so of course we're back with another pokemon video or just another video in general it's been a long time since i've recorded a video though so of course the next episode will be for the pokemon um, journey slash you know zone show anime 2019 episode review i always kind of changed up so it did up a lot though of course though so yeah we got um of course episode number review today and stuff like that no we got two chloe's um Espeon, um, Umbreon, of course, typical, typical stuff. You pretty much already kind of like know about going into the episode anyway, though. But yeah, still gonna review it, still gonna go over it, um, otherwise, anyway, though. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I think my arrows are just going back and forth, though. So, yeah, of course, we see Ash and Go, of course, discovering, um, or looking up our, um, researching, of course, the Eevee and Espeon, of course, Eevee, oh my lord, Umbreon, same thing, Umbreon, Espeon, oh my lord. And they also discover a new uh, festival that's happening in Dota though. So of course, you know, Chloe could get tagged along, of course, this adventure, so yeah, I know about that. Though. I believe the Sun and Moon Festival, I believe. Uh, again, focusing, of course, you know, back on Chloe again, which is really good, though. I like her episodes. But this one, I can't, I'll have to say it was kind of weak. I could kind of agree with that a little bit. Since Chloe's probably, like, honestly, probably one of my favorite characters, not Pokemon. Probably uh, just like, you know, how like, she basically just a girl. She doesn't know what to do at all. We've seen like, every other girl in the series, but, you know. Really different though, she just doesn't know what she wants to do. So, of course, but yeah, um, of course, so we see um, everybody starting arriving at the temple, I believe, though, talking about its history and everything, of course. Of course, we see um, Espeon, of course, um, a brush shadowing you for the episode Espeon Umbreon. Umbreon is still one of my favorite EVA evolutions, but I think we already know, like, what's kind of going on with Chloe. Chloe, my lord, uh, she's gonna basically go and see, like, I guess, every EV evolution. I believe she's probably gonna go ahead and, um, Probably do it like during with the series and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, her EV just still doesn't know what it wants to evolve into, though. So, of course, though, we're gonna see um, just a little bit more insight on that. Uh, this, you know, this episode, though, we're gonna see a little bit more on this episode. Of course, we see a mysterious figure in the background, of course. I'm gonna be on this, beyond, I believe, being, hmm, but I guess, seeing this EV and stuff like that, of course. Um, but yeah, also catches um, Chloe's attention a little bit, though, that we got two Chloe's in the episode. So, yeah, um, basically, they look like, though. I think it's like one's Chloe, one's like Korea? Korea? Oh my boy. Like, Hakura? Something like that. I forgot her name already. How do I forget her name? And that's Sakura, because um, that way you name in Pokemon Go to evolve into Espeon. Though. Of course, um, we would see Eevee interesting, of course, in Umbreon and Espeon, of course, which, um, of course, um, our Chloe looked like basically, of course, you know, does in this episode. Basically, she owns the Eevee and it evolved into, and it evolved back then when she was a kid. I believe she had Eevee and uh, two Eevees, one evolves to Espeon, one's Umbreon. So it definitely does make sense though. Of course, then they get the idea to course switch clothes and kind of pull Ash and go a little bit though. So yeah, it's Chloe Mania. Absolutely good video idea title for this video though, of course. I could see everybody playing together, of course, playing more of the backstory, which I just literally just explained. Like she was a little girl, one evolved into Espeon, one evolved into Umbreon. Pretty simple, pretty easy. One's day, one's night. We've seen already though. Or you know, we can bring back that one guy from Unova, which had all the he has like a whole evolution team. I think the first one ever in the series, besides the OG one where it had like all the pretty other EV evolution so that we've got the other brothers I believe that was their thing they had like all the different EV evolutions and one of them didn't want to evolve into I feel like they kind of got I feel like they kind of got a storyline and made it just into that character be a poet so that could have just been a thing of course I guess just going on explaining on about the festival and stuff like that of course but I do like that I mean it's weird because Don had her look like episode and now I feel like that was done pretty well um, all I do really hear is just switch the roles, that's pretty much it though, of course. I guess for going to go, like, getting a different understanding of stuff like that, which is cool though. Again, I kind of get it and stuff like that, of course. Then we see our mysterious antagonist, which I completely forgot his name, um, is knocked out, I believe. See, again, they're in Jojo and stuff like that. Of course, um, Koei accidentally gets kidnapped and mistaken for, of course, her look like, and of course, they both get captured and put behind. Besides, I me, mean, Evie did, of course, but yeah. Of course, we see Ash and Go, of course, reacting over the, um, whole temple and everything, of course. But yeah, then, of course, I think they, um, I will just kind of start to notice that um, Eevee is basically um, kind of helping the Lord, um, you know, basically what's going on and stuff like that. Kind of saying something that's just kind of going on a little bit differently in the background, of course. The group see Chloe getting kidnapped, um, her being kidnapped in the in hell in this place. Of course, we see um, her look like stuff like that, of course. Um, no. I can't, I can't even think of her right now. Because you can definitely tell because the different parts of the hair, like, of course, um, the sun, the circle, and Chloe's is like, of course, the flower. You gotta definitely tell in the hair. And they literally look alike, but you can kind of tell from the hair differences. Of course, yeah, of course you get challenged at battle, I believe, um, and they are from a mysterious antagonist. And of course, um, they start to um, kind of battle off and stuff like that, of course, trying to go around, but kind of like, 
going uh, for the balance and whatnot, of course. But meanwhile, Ash and Go are looking for Chloe, of course, and stuff like that. I believe um, Evie is kind of just like, you know, basically just sad about the situation and everything, of course, like that. But it takes time to focus, um, for Evie to focus, of course, and to find Chloe, right? But what her look like, um, is basically just battling and stuff like that, of course, I'm serious antagonist, keep um, the rest of the game, find Chloe, get with her um, look alike, and basically all battle out and stuff like that. Of course, pretty simple, pretty easy and stuff like that. They kind of get around, though, of course. Evie, of course, you know, surprised by, you know, fighting with his evolutions, and of course, Evie steps into play and starts um, fighting itself, though. So, yeah. Luckily, in this series, probably just learning like a Z move for all the Eevees, like the other guy did in the last series. The cat didn't, I forgot. So, yeah, of course, we see Eevee and SP on the floor. Um, Umbreon, on the floor. Umbreon! I cannot freaking so concentrate today. I just, I can't. But of course, we see um, Umbreon, of course, SP on, of course. A battling out, we see Ash Cup being super impressed about it. Of course, you know, one night, one day, we are know about this. Power of friendship, my little pony. Yeah, just throw, 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 throw the rest of the pull out the window, of course. And of course, of. Uh, of course, the A-Rider start battling up, of course, EB and uh, AB, Espeon, and Umbreon, of course, all team up for one big combo attack and end the battle, of course, so, so yeah. Um, of course, we go from, like, literally night to day, night to day, right, of course, of course. Then, of course, everybody starts to talk about the feelings, getting everything out and stuff like that, of course. But then, um, again, it's, 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 you get typical, typical stuff, just talking it out. <laughs> Then of course, uh, we see him, you know, basically, again, a lot of people say this is a Chloe we should have gotten. I can kind of agree, but at the same time, I have to say the end of the episode, though, because I'm pretty much already done with this one. So yeah, beautiful shot right there, of course, of Eevee, Eevee, Umbreon, Espeon, of course, starting about more of evolution learning and stuff like that. Pretty solid episode for the ending, though, and stuff like that. And again, the rest of the plot's kind of just not back and forth, but it's pretty solid for us. So yeah. Um, again, a lot of people were talking about, like, Chloe's look like, basically. It's all they kind of really did. Yeah, for like Dawn, I was thinking about the, um, Dawn one. I was like, Wait, did we have another look like episode? I was like, oh yeah, Dawn, because I did see it on my Instagram feed the other day. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is like cause you know that episode was really doing well, like her basically her princess counterpart basically participating for Dawn anyway, participating in battles and just doing other different stuff that she couldn't normally do, but then Dawn had the responsibilities. Then she learns, you know, about Tokyo Kiss and you know, basically uses it in battle and goes keeps it again. Colors was kinda of a little bit weak though, I could kinda of agree with that. I get it a little bit more at least, you know, what it looked like stuff like that. Maybe Chloe take, you know, basically make her step to the plate and maybe use Umbreon, Espeon, and Eevee at the same time. I feel like it's a little bit overdone though, but I feel like they could at least did that. Or something a little bit different, more in the mindset. But otherwise though, I'm pretty solid episode for Chloe though. Again, it's probably the weakest of her episode. I can kind of agree in some parts. But other parts, you know, the look like Squid James Brace was pretty a simple thing to kind of understand. That whole Ash and Go. Um, I kind of get why maybe maybe they originally they wanted Chloe to be like this, you know, be like her, her counterpart, you know, more energetic, doing a lot of stuff. But it's good to see, you know, it basically I feel like if they did change it probably at the last second. I mean, originally I feel like they maybe they want to do this for Chloe, but it definitely does make sense though because of course, um, you know, she's a girl, she's super polite, super nervous, she didn't know what to do at first, but now that she has Evie, she's all more confident. Basically, it gets Chloe just looking at herself and like literally inside a mirror and kind of seeing herself being a little bit different, you know, saying you know on the other side of her face. So, you know, like on the other side of the mirror, basically going on, you know, again, seeing her face on the other side of the mirror. Um, or basically walking down, like, you know, basically she was like, basically she was more excited because we see her nervous a lot. It kind of like stick up for her, her friends and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, um, but then of course they don't evolve and stuff like that. Basically, yeah, the Chloe we should have gotten. I can kind of agree because Ash and Go pretty, I feel like they kind of grew light. Maybe changed it a little bit because Ash and Go pretty much are the same thing, kind of a little bit. But basically, Go does everything research wise. Ash is battling, you know, Go catches, Ash battles, does all this. Again, they're pretty much both the same trainer, but they have different, you know, morals, different identities, different stuff, though. Of course, different dreams, different goals. Because, again, they all pretty, pretty much the same. Yeah, we kind of bet, you know, doing the dream all the same thing. But, I mean, again, so spice it up. A little bit of spice life. But otherwise, pretty solid ending and stuff like that, of course. Again, Chloe was shipped guy and you're getting that. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a good day. You know, for sure. Stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. I'll put it on that. So, you're so good. For really, for really, for really. So, what I think about all this info, though, of course, like, hit it. I think the episode was pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. I think I feel like I got pretty much everything out, though. So, yeah. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out.